So after being in the home recording business for so long, many years now, I look back on my career and think about all of the things that I have wasted my money on and all of the things that were good sound investments. So what I'd like to do today is talk about the five things that if I were to start over, I would not waste my money on. Number one would be stop wasting money on useless plugins. Things like the one knob plugins or dedicated plugins to drums or bass or vocals or whatever that don't explain what they're doing, those are just useless to me. I wanna focus on things I know will improve my sound, like EQs and compression. I look for emulations of real hardware that I would find in a studio. And then once I've dialed in my sounds using those, um, plugins, I can then go to some of the specialized one knob plugins and find the character type that I like and then decide if I want to use that for my sound or not. The second thing I would not waste any more money on are cheap cables. Even if you're plugging in a cheap microphone to a cheap cable, it'll only make things worse. A pin could be loose or it could introduce ground hum or the connector at the end could start crackling and just ruin a perfectly good take. I would avoid the Amazon finds and commit to a decent cable, and then you'll never have to buy another one again. The third thing would be gimmicky microphones. Um, there's just so many new things out there. I would just recommend knowing the application of each microphone, because there's so many that may look cool or be advertised as a specific drum mic or be endorsed by a professional, but I would just always research what you're buying and understand why you want to purchase a specific microphone because it will help you avoid making a mistake when buying it. There's a reason standards exist in studios about microphone selections because they've been proven to work, they're tried and true, and this isn't to say that there aren't always ways to improve, but if we are in the starting out phase of our recording career, then buying an experimental mic or something that isn't regularly used is maybe not the move until we've figured out our sound. Um, and this can pretty much be applied to any recording gear in general. The fourth thing I would not waste any money on are cheap monitors. They're getting better and better, but they're the only reference we have to understanding what our drums sound like when they are recorded. So putting a cheap microphone through a clear and neutral monitor is great because you know what the microphone sounds like versus putting a really expensive microphone through cheap and poor sounding monitors because you'll be carving and processing that mic to get it to sound good when it already probably sounded just fine or really great and it's just the monitoring speakers that are making it sound bad. And if speakers aren't the move for you because of one reason or another, a good pair of headphones is equally as important and useful. The final thing I wouldn't waste any money on are expensive room treatments or drum booths. I would just consider DIY alternatives like rock wool wrapped in fabric or cheap burlap to dampen immediate reflections. Even things like packing blankets or rugs from Walmart will help control the sound waves in a room. And the goal isn't always to create a completely dead room, but to create a room that's useful in your recording process. So more than dampening reflections, you may want to diffuse the sound waves so they get broken up. Like simple things just like furniture in a room or books on a shelf can help diffuse the sound coming from your drum set. So if I was starting all over again, those would be the five things I would not waste any money on. And I would make sure I'm making sound investments in my drum recording gear, making sure that I've done all of my research. Um, if you agree or disagree or have some things you'd like to add, feel free to put them in the comments below. If you like what you've seen and you wanna support me, feel free to subscribe, like, do all the YouTube you know, channel things. Um, I appreciate you and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.